Welcome everybody, this is an intro video to a new series I'm going to be doing all about airbrushing. Now if you're a subscriber and you've been following some of my videos then you'll already know that I have a series on how to airbrush your Gumpla. And that series was uh, kind of more of a work in progress of my master grade Sinanju that I kind of turned into an impromptu airbrush guide. Now don't worry, uh, if you're following those, I am going to be keeping up with that, so, uh, you know, do look out for those, but uh, they are kind of few and far between because of how slow I work on those models, unfortunately. Now, what I've decided to do, because in those videos, um, I guess I'm a little bit uh, presumptuous in terms of... Uh, in terms of showing you, uh, well I kind of presume you already know how to use an airbrush and it's more about how to paint it Gumpler in, well specifically paint Gumpler so really what I wanted to do in this series is to backtrack a little bit and uh, just go from the beginning really and I'm going to be showing some quick tips and tricks and tutorial videos on airbrushing in general so it's not going to be um, for Gumpler specifically per se, uh, not even for model kits even, but uh, really it's going to be about how to set up uh, your airbrush and what to look out for, what what you can buy. Um, I mean, for instance, what you see before you, uh, the Iwata or Iwata airbrush that I have. Um, well, I've got several actually, but um, you know, you're not going to start off with one of these, and I certainly don't recommend you to. So. What I'll do is I'll show off um, all the various um, airbrushes I've had over over the years, and uh, just go through some of the trials and tribulations, really, of uh, of what I've been through, and hopefully uh, pass on some uh, time-saving uh, um, advice, if you will, and hopefully uh, something that will help you guys out. So, uh, how I imagine this series to go is um, a little bit on, um, like I say, how to set up your airbrush, how to clean your airbrush, how to do things like um, thin paint, um, what kind of cost saving measures you can get, like I say, you know, you're not going to start off with all the uh, advanced bits of kit, you know, you're not going to have a, a spray booth and a turntable uh, to spray all your models and all that kind of stuff, so I'll just show you some improvised techniques that I've used over the years. Um, other things like, um, even really basic things I can think of, like how to hold your pieces whilst you're spraying, you know, or just uh, show off um, the basic uh, old crocodile clip and not on a skewer type thing and uh, uh, lots of ideas really, so I'll just keep this video quite short um, but um, yeah, um, so really uh, this new video series uh, I hope it'll help a lot of beginning modelers and uh, well, I just imagine um, them to go pretty well in complement, well, to complement the uh, airbrushing series that I'm doing with the Sinanju. And really, what I'm, I've got no real set ideas on how I'm going to go about doing this. I'm just going to do things that pop into my head that I think is going to add something useful. And I guess once I have uh, a few of those, uh, because I'll, I'll be able to get these uh, up onto uh, my channel fairly quickly. Uh, I'll probably, uh, well I have it in mind to kind of do a proper series once I have all those videos up and piece them all together into something a bit more uh, coherent I guess and uh, have a bit of a beginner's guide as well um, so uh, thank you for watching once again if you like this video then please press like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you shortly so thank you very much